Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, the number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing Forex. So who is trading? The Forex market has a daily turnover of around $5.3 trillion. That's around £4 trillion. This market has been growing exponentially, however, growth has pulled back slightly since 2013. So who is taking advantage of this incredibly liquid market? Is it the biggest traded businesses on the planet? Large companies and institutions, including banks, HNW individuals, fund managers, firms that have overseas business activities and need to hedge their funds' currency exposure, sovereign wealth funds, and governments or central banks. Everyday people in their bedrooms are now trading Forex thanks to the proliferation of the internet. But here is something that new retail traders do not appreciate nor fully understand. Every single time that a new retail trader pulls the trigger on a trade where he or she might be trading a pound or a dollar or per pip movement, or perhaps they have already done that, been lucky, and then leverage the next couple of trades up to $5 to $10 per pip. They are trading against institutional traders who have their disposal of billions of dollars on their trade accounts. When these guys pull a trigger on a trade, there are a host of professional traders on the opposite side of the fence against them and with much deeper pockets. It is not unusual for an institution to hit a forex exchange rate with over $500 million on a single ticket. It happens all the time. This kind of size can move an exchange rate by 25 to 50 pips in the blink of an eye. So new traders be warned, this is what you're up against. Also, many of these institutional traders will have been to university and studied economics and cut their teeth trading on smaller accounts at their institutions, until such a time they have honed their skills and then been let loose on multi-billion dollar accounts. Now traders are up against adaptive algorithms which are now regularly used in the forex market for auto trading purposes. These clever algorithms actually learn how to improve their trading and they are getting better all the time. It is well known that over 70% of new forex traders will lose all of their deposited money within the first six months, and this led to the China Banking Regulatory Commission banning banks from offering retail forex on a margin to their clients back in 2008. The writing was on the wall for retail forex traders in the West. In 2014, the French regulator conducted a survey which concluded that an average percentage of losing clients was 89%, with clients who squandered €11,000 on average between 2009 and 2012. Over that four-year period, 13,224 clients lost €175 million. Euros. The estimated number of losing retail traders across Europe during this period was 1 million. In 2015, the US National Futures Association announced a reduction on limits that US brokers could offer their retail clients to a maximum of 50 to 1 in 10 listed major foreign currencies, and 20 to 1 on some others. Similarly, in 2018, the European Securities and Markets Authority confirmed stricter changes to the way brokers were able to offer retail forex clients leverage trading. We expect to see a lot more of this type of intervention in years to come. Yet none of this really addresses the real issue, which is why people are losing money trading in forex. It simply comes down to education. I wouldn't strip a car engine down without first going to a mechanic class, or operate on a human without going to medical school, or fly a plane without lessons, and yet thousands of individuals think they can open a forex trading account and consistently make money. Sure, they might get lucky initially and think they're on a roll, before over-leveraging themselves and wiping out their accounts. In our opinion here at Forex.Academy, if governments want to intervene, they need to address education, Sure, reducing leverage and insisting on larger margin requirements will slow down the rot, but it won't stop it, whereas insisting that traders are qualified, even to some basic degree of education level, would have a much better positive impact. Just like any profession, people need to be fully educated, and a basic level of education should be the first thing undertaken before newbies are let loose trading, a term we use loosely, under the circumstances they are gamblers, and we all know what happens to most gamblers. So to anyone thinking about becoming a currency trader, you should take the time to heavily invest in your own education here for free at forex.academy. We recognize this issue and feel passionately about it. What's more, we offer all of the educational tools you will need to trade effectively, and the only investment you need is your time because our entire comprehensive education library is free of charge. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover in future, or if you would like to discuss the topics we have covered. Have a great day.